So this is a, a comprehensive 1 to 64 scale model of the Priest Rapids tail race. Uh, it models the spillways, the powerhouse discharges, all the geometric features of the adult fishways. We also have a 1 to 64 scale comprehensive model of the forebay. And that includes the forebay geometries of the spillway and the powerhouse and goes all the way up to uh, Goose Island upstream. So in that model, we're able to see how the river approaches the dam and in that river flow, how the fish approach the dam. In the laboratory, uh, we're able to build these physical recreations of the actual dam and the riverbed, and you see those in our models. Uh, we're also building a virtual environment. So we're able to take this physical geometry and encode that into computational models that simulate how the river flows uh, through these river environments and through these hydraulic structures. Uh, oftentimes we use dye, which is a, simply a, a triple strength food coloring, and inject that into the flow field so that we can see the velocity patterns, the acceleration, any swirl or vorticity and turbulence that may be generated uh, by the concept that we're investigating. And it really helps to bring out those flow patterns uh, for the viewer. Uh, Grant PUD has done an outstanding job of engaging uh, both the tribes and the agencies and bringing them back here uh, in this collaborative design process, working on the models, standing here looking at the same flows together, making sure that we have the same understanding of the benefit of these projects uh, on the natural resource. Uh, that has been uh, an outstanding opportunity uh, for our students to learn from, for the district uh, to advance their designs, and for the agencies to become a little more educated about how these systems work and when they do work, why they worked.